Hi, I'm Isaiah Coberly, and most of you know that my next mission is to develop a case for the Lenovo ThinkPad Helix. Uh, the ThinkPad Helix is a, an interesting hybrid device. Um, it's a tablet PC, it's a laptop, and it's an extraordinarily high power tablet PC. Um, it has an interesting relationship with the dock that it joins to, and that the dock actually has the fans that cool the processor. And uh, also there's an extra battery in there that improves the life. Uh, without the dock, it just becomes a tablet PC for the most part. Uh, with the dock, it turns into a super tablet PC. Um, I'd like the Flip Steady to be able to work uh, without the dock, and also I'd like it to be able to work with the dock. Um, and that it represents some interesting challenges as far as um, being able to keep the two devices together without having to take the case off uh, and allow the device to have this interesting relationship um, with its dock. The first thing I think I'd like to do is to identify some of the problems with even having uh, a tablet case on the Lenovo Helix. Um, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, the carrying solutions that are currently available on the Helix itself is that you're able to actually pack it up in a laptop way and this means that um, the tablet is actually joined to the the base and uh, you're gonna take that put it together and put it in your bag alright just consider that now this is um, the high horsepower tablet mode now somebody's going to take it join it and put it in their bag now the screen would be facing outward uh, and that's something that's undesirable uh, as far as packing around without a case. But what if there was a, uh, a flip study cover right here? That would be more attractive. Now uh, we'd, have a we'd have a device that we'd feel safe putting into a bag because we have something covering the screen. Whereas here, what we'd have here on the laptop side of things, we'd either have the cover going in between the uh, the screen and the keyboard or we'd have it on the back of the slate or we'd have it on the other side of the keyboard all of which don't really seem to be doing anything it seems like a lot of redundancy on this side so what I want to do is I'm going to say that the natural way to carry the combination of the tablet and the keyboard with the flip steady case would be to have the cover of the flip steady resting on the screen side and a user would actually pack um, away their helix with the screen facing away from the keyboard rather than the laptop model over here. This brings me to another question and my question is how should the flip steady cater to the various tablet modes? On one hand we have a tablet free and clear of its dock, and we'd be able to put a flip steady case on the back of that tablet, no sweat. On the other hand, the tablet becomes a lot more powerful and a lot more useful when it's on its dock, so we'd also probably want to make sure that the flip steady works on the back of the tablet in its higher power mode, in other words, being docked. The real challenge for this round of design is actually to make a case that's thin enough on the back that it will close between the keyboard and the docking station, or sorry, the keyboard and the tablet with, with the given minimal gap. Fortunately for us, we have this whole area back here of keys that become depressed when they experience a thickness from the back of the case and then we also have this large button right here All right, this is a, a, a little helping thing that we can use to build structure into the back of the case and uh, and still be able to close the case completely I'll be, I believe we'll be able to do that the next thing is is that if our case is covering the screen out on the front like this um, there's a hinge that goes around to this side Right. And that allows the case to open up. Now, the challenge here is to create a hinging mechanism for the tablet 
that will send it around to side number one. It'll send the flap, let's say that the flap is going around uh, to side number one, and this, this would be the back of the tablet. And then also when uh, the tablet is connected to the keyboard, it would also send the flap around and make a stand on the back of side number two, which would be the back of the keyboard. Um, and that uh, is the real challenge of this design, and I think that I have a great way to do it. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. If you have any ideas based off of my uh, rough sketches and descriptions, uh, please feel free to chime in. Um, there's a lot of, uh, of thinking that needs to happen here, and there's just way too much to cover in a short video. Uh, but I thought I would just share some of my basic thoughts and give you some of my basic sketching of uh, the direction that I, I'm thinking about taking initially. Um, thank you for uh, participating in the project. Thank you for reserving your cases. Um, it's really incredible in this day and age that a group of people can come together and make, um, make something special uh, for a device that they love. And, um, and I know that we're going to be rewarded at the end of this. This is going to be a really great product. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you again.